welcome back everybody. Okay, this is a playthrough of the Union campaign for Ultimate General Civil War. Phew, what a mouthful. Okay, so this is the first time we've been in the camp menu. Um, so we just finished off the initial battle last time and we got some rewards. So there are four types of... Oh, excuse me. Four types of rewards. Career points which we can use to improve uh, our general, I guess. Reputation, which is how much the politicians love us. If we lose battles, our reputation goes down. If it goes down too much, we get fired and lose the campaign. Okay, we get cash and we get bodies. And also, you saw we captured some uh, prisoners last time. So we're able to use that to get almost a third more additional recruits. So that's excellent. Okay, so... Here we have our little army at the moment. We've only got a single core, and the single core only has a single division. Right. Um, if we go into our career option, we can see we've got points here that we can use to improve ourselves. So, for example, if we, bo if we put up politics, we get money and bodies. Economy, what does that give us? Um, discount to equipment. Hmm. Medicine, well, gets us more bodies. Training, uh, reduces the cost of veterans. Uh, we'll see more about that later. Right Now, um, because of the choices I made off camera at the start of the game, we've got very good training already. So veterans should be quite cheap for us. 20%, um, oh, that's not that cheap. Well, that, And that's even the next level as well. What do we have at the moment? Does it tell us? No. Right, so key one here is army organisation. So if we up it, we still have a single core, but we can go up to three divisions, and we can get four brigades per division. Right, so let's go back. Um, I'm not sure we're going to spend the point there. We could also spend it on logistics or on reconnaissance. But let's have a look. Okay, so we've got $50,000. Um, and what we can do is we can start to boost up our units. Okay, so this is Loomis's brigade. He's down to 445 soldiers. If we reinforce it with veterans, it costs us 31,000! Ah! And 1,000 uh, men. If we do it with rookies, you see they get worse. Um, but it's significantly cheaper. Now... In my own sort of test game, I always went really with veterans. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get the army up to strength with rookies. So, you're going up to that. Walton, um, you're going up to that as well. Woods, what have you got? You've got six pounders. We'll come back to you, Woods. Uh, scales. Um, Alright, you got injured. Right, so we need to replace you. We have no reserve officers. So, congratulations Hector Morris. Now in charge of that. So, we do need some more artillery there. But, what I desperately need is infantry. So, I'm going to create a new division. Right, under Norman Cake. Which is a fantastic name. Right, uh, I can choose to replace him with other people, but I'm not going to. Right, so I want infantry, please. Um, now, we can choose how to um, equip our units. You see here, these are Springfield M1842s. I think these are pretty much the standard Union muff musket. Um, but if we click on this, you can see what we can replace it with. So, um, the Palmetto, which I think is a... That's the Confederate copy, if I understand correctly. Slightly more expensive. The Lorenz is a lovely rifle. We'd like to have that. So, later on, probably the first division may get Lorenzes, but at the moment, we can't afford it. Um, and what we have is Armoury is our own stockpile, and the shop is... Obviously, we can, be, we can buy it. Right. So... Well, we're just going to go with the standard, uh, those guys. So, equip. And 1,500 men. Yeah. Infantry, equip. Oh, 
we haven't got enough. So we don't have enough bodies, um, and we don't have enough money. Alright, we don't have enough bodies. Right, so we've got money. Right, so what we'll do then is, can I... Right. Can I... How do I escape that? Infantry, cancel. How do I escape from that? That's interesting. Alright, okay, so we'll just go there. Ah, right, so that's just the core, right, okay. So we don't have enough bodies to fill out a second brigade there. What we can do though, I'm hoping, is get that up to, get you up to five guns. And we can rename our units, but I'm not going to at the moment. Now, finally, what can we do with our cash? Um, I could re equip so I could go to Loomis, and I could give him the range rifles. Um, yes, sir. Yeah. But I'm not going to. What am going to do instead? I'm just going to dump my money and supply. Right. And that, I think, is us. Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick save. Save. And this will be the let's play. Zoink. Okay, back. And we're back in. I'll oh, check your supply wagon. What? I have checked my supply wagon. It's full. Look. Thank you. Right. So, uh, we have captured a message. Right. Okay. Ooh. Right, so the bad guys are getting reinforcements. Okay, so this is the campaign. And essentially the way it works is we have a choice of uh, battles to fight. We can fight the main battle here, which is the first bull run. Or we can fight a sort of subsidiary battle first. And obviously, you know, if we win that, we get more money, we get more recruits. So we're going to do that. Okay, what's the battle? Sorry, swig of coffee there. Um, so a newly formed army, blah, 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 blah. The Union Supply Station near the Manassas Railroad Junction urgently needs your protection. So we've got to defend our supply depot. Right, now we can choose which of our uh, core to assign. Given we've only got one, that's a no-brainer. Um, now we can field up to eight brigades. We do not have eight brigades, sadly. Um, so, so we've only got five brigades and they're all rookies. Okay, so that's the supply depot. The vanguard of your army move quickly to reinforce it. Okay. Right, so Confederates coming from up there. And from here. Right, okay. Right. Okay, so we've got a small garrison, right, and we've got the bulk of our forces coming in here. Okay, right, so this is our deployment area, so at the moment we've only got two brigades online, um, well it's three actually isn't it, yes it is, it's three. So we've got a supply wagon, we've got me, and we've got Walton and Loomis. Right, so it's only really two brigades. Yikes. Okay, so we know they're coming from there. Um, so Walton, go there, please. Oh, it's drag, isn't it? Go there. Can I rotate you? Oh, bugger. Where's he gone? 
has he gone? Walton? Walton? Okay, I appear to have lost the brigade. Alright, oh, okay, let's not worry about that. You know, it could happen. It's easily done. So, start. Okay, so. Here, um, we know the enemy are coming up. Right. But. I'm just going to get my skirmishers out of there. We've got much more time to react to these get the forces coming from here but what we'll do is there's Loomis right so the enemy are coming up here so let's see if we can fly them now let's see if we get any more I'm not really sure this zoom mode helps in the slightest no. okay so there's a ridge coming up over there right Okay, you should be dug in there. Right, you guys. Get round to there. Loomis. Form there. Where is Walton? That's Woods. Loomis. Richards. That's all we've got. Okay, so we don't know what happened to poor Walton. Okay, that's a little bit worrying. Okay, right. So supplies. I'm going to move down here so they didn't get captured. Horses. I'm going to move down to there so we can see what's happening. Now what I am going to do, we know we're getting reinforcements. So I'm going to move woods up to support us. Which means that is empty, but I'm going to take that risk. Right, Loomis is already moving up. I'm going to move up into there. That is moving up into there. You're moving up into there. Right, and you're moving round to there. All right. All right, and we're withdrawing them. Let's see how we get on. So at the moment I'm unsighted, so that's why I want to move these skirmishers down. Okay, we pop. Right. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do? I'm going to move these guys back to defend that. Yeah. Okay, so we're relying on our cavalry to scout down here. skirmishers back once we're sort of engaged so move skirmishers back hold that and use Richard as just another infantry brigade
I want reinforcements. Reinf right, Loomis, well done, man. Get back. Right, should be able to break these two regiments. Get back in there. Okay, so we seem to have seen them off. Skirmishers. So that's what I'm going to do. Don't you dare fall back. Fall forwards, man. Fall forwards. Get out, 
over it, get over it, Edward. Get out. Don't suppose anybody has let another 10 brigades that I could borrow. Let's get back. Very disappointed in you, Lumis. Engage that. Loomis! Loomis, Loomis, Loomis!
them. Get it. Two thousand infantry, hundred and forty cavalry, and they lost yeah, double that, but they lost more guns. Right, uh, goals. Okay, we've got one guy wounded. We've got some more guns. What did that do for us? Oh God! So bugger all. We got more money. A few more uh, recruits, but on the scale of things, didn't really help. Okay, so come to veteran. Yes, sir. Veteran. Right, Deering, you come up to veteran as well. Yes, sir. Right. Which means we can give you a uh, rookie infantry brigade, give you cavalry brigade. Quite okay. Uh, now it's worth talking about uh, what we equip our cavalry with. Uh, we've got a choice. The I like that because it's good in melee. Right. Right, there's that. Reloading efficiency. No, I think that's better. So is that the best melee weapon we can get? It is. Right. So I don't use them as dismounted infantry as you've probably seen. Uh, but there we go. Right, we'll leave that. That was meh. Not as good as I hoped. But join me next time when I think we have an even bigger, nastier battle. <laughs>